Recently, there have been many crimes taking place at Granby University and Drake University, including multiple car break-ins, a robbery held at gunpoint, and a tip drive being stolen from a restaurant. We set out to ask students what they would do in these situations if they had to make a choice. So the first question is, what would you do if a hooded figure came up to you at gunpoint and yelled, give me your wallet and keys, and you didn't have a wallet on you? Uh, I would go to my pockets and I would go like this and I'd say, hey, I don't have a wallet on me, you can have my keys, I'd appreciate it if you didn't shoot me. Okay, well I would for sure give my keys and I would tell them that I don't have a wallet. So for the second question, what would you do if you saw someone breaking into a car in the parking lot? Uh, my car just recently got broken into, so I would personally go to them and say, hey, you got to stop doing that. Like, it's not your car, it's not your business, go earn it yourself, you know, I would, I would say something to them and try and stop them. Well, I would not go up to that person, I would probably go the opposite way where they couldn't see me and call for help. So, for question three, what would you do if someone robbed a restaurant that you were in and you saw it? Uh, I would probably call the police and report that as fast as possible, just so that the police can try and get on the case as fast as possible and see if anything can be done. Well, I would hide. Honestly, I'd probably just keep pushing. Not my car, not my problem. After hearing what students would do, we set out to find what students should do in these situations to stay safe. According to the Department of Public Safety, in these scenarios, one should remain calm at all times, especially if the assailant has a weapon. If you are directly involved with the robber, follow their directions, but do not offer more than what is asked. Once it is safe to do so, call 911 right away. If you witness a robbery, do not engage. Again, call 911 when it is safe to do so and wait for emergency services to arrive on the scene. With this information, students should be prepared for any crime-related incident in the near future.